Hello guys, this is Fo Edin of FoTK and this is the next tutorial uh, which is going to involve uh, the cleanup tool. So maybe not necessary to everybody, um, however it is something that be best to know just in case. Uh, you know, obviously uh, for games this is very important, for film maybe not so much but it really depends entirely what you're doing. So the way with game engines, uh, I've mentioned this before, um, they triangulate faces like polygons so anything more than a four-sided shape will go a bit funny. So when you create models all your polygons will have to be four or three sides. Um, now there will probably come times where you'll do more. Um, it always happens and you just need to clean it up. Um, Obviously, I would clean it up as you go through, um, because I have done a well. It's not a big model, but it's quite a high detailed model. It was that rifle in one of my previous videos, and that took a hell of a lot of cleaning up to do. And um, yeah, it probably took me about a day to clean up, um, two days to make, um, because I'm still getting used to it myself, you know. And um, a day to clean up. So yeah. <laughs> Do it as you go along and then you'll save yourself a lot of times. <laughs> um, so I'm going to just show you an example. If I just import a uh, tube or cylinder, sorry. Um, all of these sides have four, four or three. Uh, all these polygons have four or three sides, as you can see here. And the easiest way to check that is once you have the model selected, you go up to Mesh, the cleanup tool. And then make sure you got select matching polygons. You don't want it to clean up. That will automatically clean up for you, but I'd advise not doing that just because you can do it yourself and have full control over it. So I'll click select, apply to selected objects, which is this one, and then faces with more than four sides. Yeah? So it's gonna select anything with more than four sides. But I can click apply and it's just gonna disappear. And the reason for that is because the model is fine. However, if I come to the line tool and I just delete some of those, how many have we got here? Now if we take a look, we've got two lines here, but then you've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's an eleven sided shape there. You know, and it's just easily done. And you know, the fact that you've got these vertexes here is the reason why. So if for some reason you had a model like this, then you would have to create multi cuts um, to basically create an, you know something like this. So if I just click apply now, oops, go to object mode. That single face is uh -uh, not good. So I'll grab the multi cut tool, or if you go to mesh tools and then multi cut. And what you can do is you can just click on one of these. Well, that's not multi cut, is it? There you go. And what you can do is you can just click on one of these points, making sure it's red, click and then come to the center and then once you've done that click enter to confirm it and then once I click apply that face is fine because it is now four sided and three sided so yeah you do need to be a bit careful so if I just go to my other project with my wardrobe now as you can see here I'll keep one door the same but I will take out the the cleanup on the other ones. Right, let's take these out as well. Delete. And there's reason all these lines are here. Let's do those ones as well, the corners. Unless it fucks it up. It might fuck it up. No, it's cool. Right, so again, I'll go into my layers tool. I think, yep, I've already got some, so um, don't need the base, don't need the little drawers, I don't need the door little. So there we go. As you can see, you've got a nice clean door and a kind of messed up door. So the one on the left will be for a game and the one on the right possibly for a film, you know, because you won't need to do this optimization for a film um, because it's not going to run through any engine, it's just going to be rendered and put into a video, video file. Um, Unless it's going through something else which does require it to have cleanup, but I I don't know anything about that. But that's why I'm showing you showing you this tutorial just in case. So if I click on this and I then go to my cleanup and click select, yep, and apply it, 
we can see it's this face that has got a problem. Now, first thing I did is is I joined the edges up here, like the corners. Because if I did that, yeah, this is where it's going to start messing up on me. You will get things like this. However, once you... Oh, for God's sake. There you go. Once you start building it, it will sort of fix itself. Um, then you want to come to the top ones. Make sure you get the right point selected. That's not the right point. All right. Let's control Z that. Let's try the other one. So we'll go for that one. And that one. Enter. No, it still didn't do it. Right, let's give it a go. That one to that one. Enter. That's fine. Uh, this one. So, obviously, you can see here that I'm having a few problems with it. But, oh, that's probably why. But that's just how it goes, unfortunately. Okay, that tool, that one's done. And I need to get this inner one. Which I can't seem to get hold of. There you go. Uh, the top one been done. No, we'll try that one again. See now, now it just doesn't like this polygon. Let's just enter that so I can then delete it. So we've still got the bottom two. And I just need to worry about this. Maybe it's because there's a slight extrude somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, because it won't let me do it. And the reason it's not let me do it is because it's not along the same. You know, it can do it along this face, but not the other one because it must be some sort of extrusion, which I have done but not kind of realised. Right. There we go. That might be the problem. If I. Actually, no, you know, I'll show you what. If I just delete this, I'll show you what it does is if you clean it up automatically. Oops. There you go. Oh wow, are you actually being serious? It's pretty much done exactly what I've done. It's done all four corners. But then... Oh, yeah, it's actually... Okay, in this instance, yeah, it was better. I don't need this line in the middle. That can save me an extra edge. Um, okay. But, yeah, the cleanup tool is good for, you know, optimization. But I usually do it by hand because then you can choose where you want your points to go. So, as you can see on the right-hand side, you've got two points here. I've got one. Do you know what I mean? But then they've got one here, and I've got two up here. So, we're kind of working along the same lines, but um, it is entirely up to you. Things will get tricky, like it did for me there, but I'm not going to sit around and fix it, um, because the tutorial will go on for a bit longer than I would have thought. Um, so, yeah, another thing to do is, if you do need to sort this whole face out so if I just click control Z until I come back to a clean sheet you can just delete the face grab the face tool, delete the face which is a problem and then come to append to polygon and we could just start from the bottom so click that one and then we've got our purple line so we want to click the center here and then again that is creating this you know the correct corners that we wanted as long as you sh cl uh, click the correct lines then it will be fine now if you can see this has probably gone up to about the middle midpoint yeah so it's gone up to midpoint and then it's carried on going up to the top and the reason for that is because you've got two extra vertexes here where I've added this little bit and then you can append that one and every time you append something like click and click then you have to click enter and there you go so that's where I got my extra line from you know my oh sorry my single line um, and sometimes they do need two lines but it really depends um, but that's how you use the cleanup tool guys and I'm gonna end this now because the dogs are barking yet again um, so yeah if you have any questions please pop it in the description because it's quite a simple tutorial but I, I don't know I just 
hopefully I didn't make it sound too confusing, but um, yeah, please look out for the next tutorials, guys. Peace.